Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the GM Sniper Custom ML or Missile Launcher. If you put the meme of it and the normal GM Sniper Custom together, it is the cooler version of it. In game, it's a 350 cost ground and space capable support that has a ballistic and beam resistance of 10, a melee resistance of 16, which is pretty dang good at this level, a range strength of 30, a melee strength of 5, a movement speed of 115, and a thrust gauge of 60. For parts, we have close, medium, and long, long range of 8. For equipment, we have the standard rifle between the two, the R4 type beam rifle. It has good range, it has good damage, and it's heat based. But it has a lot of issues in there. It is not very easy to stagger with, and yeah, we'll just go from there. You have to stop to fire it. It's, it's one of those ones that it can get you in trouble so for options we have the rocket bazooka which is what i think most people are going to go for it's decent damage it's decent stagger yada 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 it's a bazooka and then we have the beam gun it has um uh helps uh, the targeting reticle that helps it's got some decent damage, it's got an okay fire rate, and it's got some good range. I actually think it's a pretty good option on this unit. We have the Beam Saber unit, which is strapped to the arm. Congratulations. We have One Year War uh, Vulcans. They're, they're not that great, but they have one thing over the beam gun, and that's called range. Which, the beam gun's a nice weapon, does decent damage, has a decent amount of heat rate. The range, I feel like, needs to be doubled to about 200 to make them a little bit more usable. But, you know, they have done that after all these years, so what am I going to say that's going to change that? It's okay. Then we have the 4-2 missile launcher, which does 500 damage, 16 ammo, and it's 250 range. It's really good for uh, dumping into people when they're downed by someone else or effectively as just kind of chucking in there to help support your team. For skills, we have high performance radar level 2, high performance scope level 2, observational data link, frontline support system, high performance aerospace gimbal, high performance balancers, which is nice to have, and high spec and back level 2. I'm going to be perfectly honest, uh, this unit still struggles even with the improvements. It mostly eclipses its younger brother, the GM Sniper Custom, and it's solid. It's got some nice things about it, but it can still struggle. It's a good option to help have as kind of like a mid-range in a lot of cases. There are people who are a lot better with these units than I am, but I think it's solid is the best way I'm going to put it. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the match, everybody. This is um, an interesting one. It's a space match, not a situation battle, so no worries there. And, um, you know, I'll be honest, I do not hate this unit. Um... But I'm not a big fan of the GM Custom itself. I think they really need to do a little bit of something with the uh, the core unit, I guess is a way to put it. But um, this unit does pretty well. So we got the beam gun as our main armament. And, um, oh man, uh, this is the, uh, the asteroid belt. I forget what the name of this one is, but we're going to come up to D. We're going to use our good etiquette and immediately grab it. Now I'm turning over towards the B side of the map because I'm used to getting rushed from that side by raids. So I'm going to pop up. I'm going to follow up behind uh, one. I'm hanging around him pretty tight. But I see that their team's clustered over here. So I'm going to try to sneak around and grab some shots. And we're going to pop into the shield there, wait for the cooldown, get another one in there, 
some decent damage. Fire some missiles just to uh, mess with him, get another shot in. Uh, it's a good idea to aim towards the feet if someone has shields or a, sh a large shield. Uh, sometimes you can sneak it around with these kind of units. So there's the raid. We're going to smack him in the back. He wants that dumb barrage booty, I'll tell you. We're going to pop those missiles into his back. We're going to catch him with a little bit of that stagger, then uh, Vulcan him down. So I'm trying to stay with my team as much as I can. I move forward a bit. We're going to fire, miss, fire, hit. Um, he did not like that. We're going to fire into him, blow his shield off, and fire again. Now the beam gun does do some pretty decent damage, and in situations like this, as long as you're uh, not going absolutely wild, uh, you can get some pretty steady damage. And the guy's going to rock into my missiles. Um, I'm basically just trying to, to play a game of... Uh, Staying around the front line, throwing out what defenses I can. Ooh, not get hit by that. And, um, all right, our team's doing pretty good. Gonna fire, miss, fire into him. That does do some pretty decent damage to, uh, that raid who really just doesn't want to pay attention to me. We'll throw some Vulcan shots out purely to uh, get some things. Throw some missiles at him in an effort to uh, <laughs> get him dissuaded. And uh, this guy's going to come after us. We're going to hit him with that. Switch to melee, catch him in the feet. Switch back to the beam. Fire, but I was expecting him to move the other way. Use the little beam pistol to pop some damage in there. And switch over to melee, catch him again. Pop in there, and there we go. And this guy, if you are the one of the people who play this unit and you play the same way as this guy, please stop. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It's it's not a very good way of playing, I'm going to be honest. We're going to hit him with that, and we're going to get him with the beam saber before uh, we get uh, iced ourselves. We're kind of acting as a frontline unit at the moment. We're going to throw some missiles, catch him there, throw a little bit of that beam love at him. He's going to dodge before we can get it there. Um, the raid's going to get taken out. I'm going to uh, throw some missiles over and then decide I don't want to be there when there's very large and very hostile beams. I'm one tap from dying, so I'm just trying to sneak in as much damage as I can. Now, I've at least made some of them gun shy of the beam gun, um, which is not the greatest weapon, but I do enjoy the reliability of it at these lower levels. So I'm trying to sneak around and get a shot at that guy. <laughs> and we're going to take some more shots. It's got some decent range, but nothing to write home about. We're going to throw those missiles out there to dislodge... Uh, the Pell Rider, who, who really just wants to use that minigun. He wants the minigun all day. Throw some missiles out, catch him with it. That's some big damage. I'm just going to keep picking at him. And I'm going to try to use that dang thing. There we go, we got him. I saw some guys behind me, so I'm going to come over here, go into melee. He's going to move because he didn't want to... Uh, risk himself. Fire some shots. Completely miss. And there we go. First death at the two minute mark. Or a little bit under three minutes. So we're going to spawn in at B. And we see one's in some trouble. So we're going to try to come up to back him up. Throw some damage that way, but not be able to quite do it. Give the raid a smack because he refuses to pay attention to me. Miss him with that downswing. I'm going to uh, do my best to just throw as much damage out as I can while strongly, strongly missing. Poor number one, he is trying, but he's just getting ganged on. They want that kill bad. 
So I'm going to keep pushing in as a uh, attempt to help. Get nice and close for that pistol. Throw those missiles. Catch him with one. We're going to get kind of hit by the uh, the Pell Rider, who's not going to be that impressive. Like most Pell Riders. Really not that interesting. We take him out real quick because I don't care about you, Pell Rider. And then we're going to turn and uh, start dealing with him. I'm not really too concerned about him. Um, he's going to try to outshoot me, which is a really bad idea. Again, if you like Pell Riders, don't play it like that. Especially this space one. It's got a lot going for it, but not the way he's playing it. We're going to hit him with that. We're going to back up and come in, finish him off with a swipe. Then we're going to continue on. So that was two of their team members down. We're going to see a barrage is going to come in, so I don't want to deal with that. We're going to come over here, check up on our team members. Uh, two is outside of his suit right now, but I'm not quite sure where. But we're in the 40-odd uh, second mark. We're going to come in. We're going to fire some missiles. And we're just going to keep plinking away at that uh, raid who just for some reason doesn't care that we exist. we going to throw some damage out there and catch him. Not the best damage, but it's steady. And that's the most important thing in some cases, with especially with... Uh, support. Sometimes it can just be, uh, let's try to come in and save our dude. Um, really boring to play support and hard to follow up because you just don't have many things you can throw out. So, you see this the, uh, raid over here. We're going to smack him, fire some stuff into him, and the match is over. Epic stare down. And, uh, well, unfortunately, we didn't win that one. Shame. But we got three board positions, not bad, and second place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.